Hello, my name is Eric. Today I'm going to share with you a device I created called a coherer. I am not the inventor of this, I am simply creating one to demonstrate. If you would like to know who the creator is, research Marconi. What is a coherer? A coherer is a device that can detect RF signals. It works by using metal shavings that are put into a compartment and separated by two metal terminals. The metal terminals are pushed closely together towards the metal shavings in such a way that they're nearly touching, but the metal shavings have enough of a weak bond that they create high resistance and no electricity flows, or very little electricity flows. Under the presence of an RF signal, especially a high RF signal, the device will change the metal shavings will do what's called micro welding. They will create a very strong bond in which electricity can flow. The resistance drops greatly. So what do we have here? Well, I have a battery pack. There are two AA batteries inside here. I have an LED. I have the coherer itself. Inside that middle section are the metal shavings. In this case, I used copper. And I also have an antenna to try to pick up weaker signals. So how do we create an RF signal? For that, I used a barbecue igniter. I placed the spark emitter very close to a ground lead. There's a small gap there through which an, a spark will arc across the two leads. When this happens, the metal shavings will detect it and they will cohere and then the LED will turn on. So let's try it. So I made the spark go and as you can see the LED is on. There's nothing connected directly to this circuit other than the components you see here. The igniter is certainly not connected. How do you get the LED to turn off? To do that, you need to do something called decohere. Decohering it is simply a fancy word for making the metal shavings become loose again so that there is high resistance. To do, to do that, you can simply tap on it. Now it's back in its original state. Oh, and as you can see, the LED is still slightly on, so I haven't completely decohered it. Let's try this again. Okay, now let's use the barbecue igniter once more to turn it on. There you go. I tried several different variations of this device. First I used iron filings and I had a larger space between the two terminals. I didn't get very good results doing this. When I switched over to copper, I seem to get much better results, but as you saw, it seems to be harder to turn off the device when you're decohering it. Also, voltage seems to play a role in how well the device works. Initially, I used a 4-volt four, four battery, and it seemed like it wanted to stay on longer than it should have. I then tried a 1.5-volt battery, but that was barely enough to get the LED to light up bright enough for you to see it. Instead, I tried two AA batteries, and that with the copper shavings seemed to be the best combination. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, hit me up on the posts. Thanks.